Hi everybody, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. Last week we talked about getting the ball into the roll phase and watching it leave the pin deck. This week we're gonna talk about the adjustments to help you achieve just that. First adjustment we're gonna talk about is just moving your feet a little bit right for a right-hander or your feet a little bit left for a left-hander. All this is gonna do is help to get your ball a little bit closer to the friction, helping it to read a little bit earlier to get into that roll phase. Another adjustment that can be made is just simply going to a stronger bowling ball. A lot of people like to start with their benchmark ball, so that means that there's a little bit of room to go to something a little bit more aggressive. The biggest thing we see when your ball's not in that roll phase is that your ball's just not starting early enough. So getting a bigger, stronger ball will help accomplish just that. This next option is to add surface to the cover of your bowling ball using a sanding pad. Now this needs to be done before you start bowling for score, but it's the easiest way to alter what your bowling ball is doing and manipulating it without having to change anything else in your game. Sometimes our normal ball speed just isn't what the lane is asking for. If we're throwing it too slow, we may need to throw it a little bit faster and vice versa. If we're throwing it too fast, we may just need to slow it down in order to achieve that optimal roll phase through the pins for the best pin carry. Now this last one is something that I actually use all the time. My normal axis rotation is right around 70 degrees. So that's getting around it quite a bit. So what I like to do if my ball is not getting into that optimal roll phase is I just try to have less rotation, have my hand come up the back of the ball a little bit more. By decreasing my rotation, it gets the ball to read the lane earlier, meaning, you know, from front to back. And so that helps the ball achieve that roll face. So there you have it. Those are the items and the tips that I use anytime I'm struggling to get my ball to roll through the pins the right way. So I hope this helps. Good luck, and we'll see you next week.